the rear end will get a glossy black bumper that's that's not not available in the double cab but this one has a bumper because I don't know <laughs> I don't know why hey guys what's up welcome to Thai Auto News Mitsubishi is bringing back the Rally R division after an absence of over 10 years and the first country that they're going to be offering Rally R related products is going to be Thailand at this upcoming Thailand International Motor Expo from December 1 to 12 so today uh, I've got a chance to check out the Mitsubishi Rally R versions of the Pajero Sport PPV as well as the Triton so let's go have a look Okay, um, so for the Rally Art special version, which will be offered in limited numbers, uh, there's going to be only two color themes. Uh, first is the white body color and black roof, while the second option is uh, all black. But today I've got only the white version for all three models. So uh, let's start off with the Pajero Sport. Okay, so this is the front end of the Pajero Sport Rally Art version. Uh, we start off with the glossy black front grille. Um, but this is not the Rally Art uh, part. Uh, there are five Rally Art parts around the Pajero Sport. I'll, I'll just mention it when it comes up. For example, this is the Rally Art part. Uh, this is the front bumper garnish. It looks really cool and features uh, some red accents as well on the left and right. Very spaceship like feel. And then you can see the protection. And then this pretty nice. There's a uh, this is the daytime running light, and oh, this must be the indicator lights. The package continues with the black. Wheel arch molding, glossy black, and then the 18 inch alloy wheels with the uh, 265-60R18 tires. These are Bridgestone Dueler tires. These um, Rally Art parts are 
not made in Thailand, you know. Uh, it's actually made in Japan and shipped to Thailand for assembly at the Mitsubishi uh, factory in Thailand. So they're pretty expensive, actually. Um, the official pricing will be announced at the Moto Expo, but uh, you can expect that the, the price could be up by uh, about 40,000 baht, perhaps. As mentioned, uh, these come with black roof as well as uh, roof rails and uh, shark fin antenna plus rear spoiler these are all all glossy black as well as uh, special rally r decal at the side and even the sticker this sticker it's also designed and uh, shipped from Japan, designed by the Rally R division in Japan and <laughs> shipped here. So all genuine Rally R products being offered in uh, these special versions at the Motor Expo this year. At the rear, there's also the lower garnish from Rally R as well as the mud slaps these uh these parts with the rally art logo are all made by rally art japan all made uh, all designed and made by rally art japan and shipped to thailand so uh the final item that's uh, rally art are the floor mats so let's uh, take a look there you go rally art floor mat All right, this is the Triton Rally Art. And the front end is also decorated with glossy black grill on in the front. And this some with Mitsubishi name uh, in front, all in black over here. And the bumper garnish again. This is the genuine rally art. There's no uh, fender arch molding for the Triton, but uh, there's a uh, five spoke uh, black alloy wheel as well as a mud flap front and rear. The Side view mirror case uh, housing is also in uh, glossy black as well as the roof. Actually, the Triton has a pretty strong cult following in Thailand for uh, customization. So uh, I'm sure many of the customers would be happy with this kind of uh, rally art treatment for the exterior. And this is the sticker. The decal from designed in Japan from Relia Japan. I mean, even the stickers are from Japan. I mean, it's, it could be ordered easily for by <laughs> made in Thailand, but no, they uh, give you the original one. And for the bed liner, this is interesting. The bed liner is. Designed by Rally Art. So uh, if you're a Mitsubishi fan, you're gonna yeah love this one. It's not often you get this kind of part that's uh, designed by a famous motorsport division of a big car maker. Okay, uh, we don't have a rear bumper garnish, but uh, a little more decal on the right side of the uh, tailgate. These uh, mud flaps look really, really good. Okay, so this is the interior of the double cab. 
you get a fabric upholstery, uh, two-tone, but the interior, is, there's not much change, but yep, some glossy black treatment at the center console a little bit. It's nice to see a manual transmission again. <laughs> I miss it. But uh, not too much. Uh, these door panels are still pretty much standard and touch. Well, I guess um, it's uh, more or less uh, just a start for this uh, Mitsubishi and Rally Art collaboration okay th these are the rear seats the door handles also in glossy black unfortunately <laughs> this still not not glossy Okay, moving over to the Mega Cab. Well, uh, I guess the front is also, yep. Front is pretty much the same as the double, but uh, the rear end will get a glossy black bumper that's, that's not not available in the double cab, but this one has a bumper because I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why. But uh, yep. Also the bed liner from Rally Art. Let's have a look at the Mega Cab. Yep, the seat upholstery is exactly the same as the double cab, but uh, you get a seven inch touch screen. So I guess that's the only difference. Okay, so how do you like the Rally Art special version of the Pajero Sport and Triton, don't forget to leave a comment. And uh, if you really like them, uh, don't forget you can see the real ones uh, starting from December 1 at the Motor Expo at Mung Tong Thani. And uh, actually before we say goodbye today, uh, there are three more models from Mitsubishi that uh, there are special models that they're going to display at the Motor Expo. Well, uh, let's go and have a look. Okay, so uh, many people don't know that Mitsubishi has been in Thailand for a long time. Uh, they started uh, operations here in 1961 and started selling two models, the three-wheeler called Leo and the Colt. And actually, uh, they also export a lot of cars from, from Thailand. Being started in, in 1988 with the Mitsubishi Lancer Champ. This is a very, very fam uh, popular model in Thailand also. Uh, these were uh, exported to Canada. So uh, actually it, it was the first uh, car model to be exported from Thailand uh, in those days. Uh, up to now, I think uh, the accumulated export figure for Mitsubishi is 4.4 uh, million vehicles already from Thailand. So today, uh, uh, I've got a chance to check out the Leo, the first uh, Mitsubishi model to be sold in Thailand. Leo means uh, lion, right? So I'm having trouble with these lights, the frequency. Anyway, this is a cute 
small three wheeler. from 1961 very small inside as well cars were tiny in the, back in the days and lots of metal Okay, so uh, this is the actual car itself, the Mitsubishi Evo WRC05. Uh, the car that they raced uh, before quitting the World Rally Championship. Let's uh, look around a little bit before. I'll, I'll check out the information at the board. Love these brakes. <laughs> Huge brake just All the roll bars inside. A lot of carbon Kevlar as well. Okay, uh, Lancer WRC05, overall length 4360, 1800 millimeters wide, of course the engine, the good old 4G63 twin cam turbo, 2 liter and they got 300 horsepower from that 55 kilogram meters torque. Here are the driver names. Robin Pera, Piet. <laughs> These sound uh, Scandinavian. Okay, then Panizzi. Two Panizzi's. Gali de More. So, uh, actually, uh, I like this one so much. Lancer from the 70s. There were a lot of these in Thailand those days. Um, uh, so uh, Mitsubishi, uh, the guys were saying that uh, actually, the, apart from offering the products, they're also going to be involved in motorsports as well th uh, through uh, Rally Art. But uh, due to the COVID situation and everything, um, they're going to do it uh, slow, slowly, bit by bit, not. Not too fast, so maybe uh, Mitsubishi fans can uh, watch and see uh, how they're going to develop their motorsport back into. Uh, I'm not sure what level, but uh, they used to be a really great team, you know, uh, the Mitsubishi Rally Art team. The Dakar Rally, or originally the Paris Dakar Rally. Is another world-class event that Mitsubishi dominated uh, during the 80s and 90s. So many years they took part and eventually they quit in 2010. But uh, this is, uh, it was in 1985 that the Pajero uh, clinched the overall title and became the first uh, Japanese. Mitsubishi became the first um, Japanese uh, manufacturer to win the Paris Dakar uh, competition. 
actually uh, these are the specs of the uh, vehicle 225 horsepower from the 2.5 liter engine maximum torque of 32 32 kilogram meters <laughs> they uh the top two finish also. Third was Land Cruiser. Third and fourth. Okay, so the actual car not in very good shape. It's uh, pretty old. This is from 1985. Imagine. It's uh, all, all these cars will be shown at the Moto Expo this year. So, if you are one of the fan club members, don't forget check them out at the Expo at Mueang Tong Thani. Okay, so uh, that's it for me today. Uh, I'll probably see you again uh, at the Moto Expo as well. We got so many cars. Uh, to check out this year uh, with uh, a lot of new players as well. Okay, bye for now.